welcome back to Auto Repair guys. If you guys have a Chevy Cruze guys or maybe even Chevy Sonic guys and you're trying to figure out why your radiator fan doesn't work, stay with us and we'll show you guys what could be the reason for that. Now we will explain all possible reasons. Also guys, the components on that Chevy Cruze, many of them including the engine is absolutely the same on Chevy Sonic. That's why we think the video could be helpful if you, if you have one of those as well. So this is your radiator fan and if it doesn't turn on guys, your car will overheat, your air conditioner will not work, quite a few complicated things. Now we we'll guys have more than 200 videos on this car, why? Because our goal guys is to save you as much money as we can by providing free videos to you. So please guys subscribe to the channel, also more electrical videos and testing videos would be made on our brand new channel Electrical Car Repair Life, please give a subscribe. This is the fan now guys. Most common reasons for the fan not to work on. Okay, not to work correctly. We'll explain now. You need to check a few fuses, you need to check relays. This is a very, very common reason, guys, why radiator fan, okay, doesn't work most of the times. So I'm going to go ahead, open the hood, and we're going to support it quick. Okay, and this is, guys, right here now, the fuse box. So. We need to guys start, okay, we're checking fuses, relays, then we'll explain what else could be wrong with it. So let's go ahead and start on it now. We have three things that we need to squish in here, okay, to open the fuse box. And once we open it, guys, okay, we have the cap and let me show you now, guys, okay. Usually on the back side you can find the, the numbers and uh, what the fuses are for. The first fuse that we have in our case is fuse number 46 guys, number 46, it's a 10M fuse right here, 10M fuse guys, and pull it out, check it usually, okay, this one is definitely, definitely a good fuse guys. Now, you can go ahead, okay, keep checking here, okay, you can see if, if you have anything else, and I don't see, okay, any here, but when you come close to this part, you see fuse number 42, okay, and fuse number 45, guys, 42, 45, you can see the fuse numbers next to them, and you can inspect these fuses without removing them, this is for the radiator fan. Now you have a few relays, I believe it's, you have like five relays, guys, and you have relay number 10, number 11, uh, number 10, number 12, okay, this one and this one, those are for the fans. Also we have relay, uh, in our case, will be relay number three. This is a micro relay right here. And then we have two more big relays. Okay, so this, 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 and this one is for the radiator fan. We have a video guys how to test relays and to make sure that it's, uh, they're working fine. Check it out guys on the channel. So, once you guys remove your fan, now, I'm going to show you, okay, this is the, what the fan looks like. You have a resistor on the back side, a fan resistor. What this resistor does, uh, usually it adjusts the speed of the fan according to the temperature as well. If it gets uh, hot, heat coming from the radiator, it's going to turn the, the fan on higher speed. And if that resistor fails, guys, your fan might be running on low speed or not running at all. Because everything is connected, okay, uh, in sequence. So. If that resistor is bad, your fan will work. How you can check the motor now, guys? The correct way to check if the motor runs is through the computer. We'll have a video how to do that. Please subscribe, guys. Uh, what we'll do now, do not do that part ever at home. This is just experimental part and just for entertaining. Okay, you can see the black wire there, that's, that's negative. Okay, that's negative wire. We have a uh, 12 volt battery here. And if we just touch them for a little bit, you're going to see the fan turning on. Keep your hands out of the way and never ever do that because it can cut your fingers off and your hand and damage, cause quite a bit of, uh, okay, quite a bit of damage to you. So if we touch it now, okay, check it out. Just for a second, you can see our motor is fine. So it's not the motor that is causing the problem in our case, okay. Most likely guys, it's a bad, okay, it's a bad radiator fan resistor right there so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you trying to diagnose why your radiator fan doesn't work and i know i heard people being charged 700 to 1000 dollars just for labor to replace that thing 
it's not as complicated as you think it is. Check it out guys, we'll have it on the channel. Probably takes about less than an hour to replace your fan. So hopefully the video will be helpful, please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time.